Okay, so here we are at my um, certified wildlife habitat. Posted keep out the intruders, and then this is a certified wildlife habitat. That's the neighbor's house, landlord's son, and their cars. Um, this is all actually part of the nature preserve. They agreed to it because they like nature too and wildlife. In fact, they have they rescued an opossum which is on their front porch. Maybe that can be the topic of a separate video. Yeah, I'll definitely show that separately, I think. And um, he has a junk pile there. Oh, well, maybe it's not necessarily junk because he uses pieces to fix stuff and, and things. And, um, oh, I think I see a squirrel. Squirrel, let's see. Thought I saw. So we're gonna be going up there anyway, so. Now, I guess a couple months ago, the neighbor installed a new fence here because they, they bought land from the other neighbor and like so that they can they can have cows which means I'm not going to be able to see the other neighbors llamas anymore I like to see those anyway oh yeah and this is my house and there's my bike that I go to work with. There's a lawnmower and a grill there too. So that's my house. And I have a backyard. And there's... Uh, two goats and a dog back here, but can't see them. Alright. I'll show them later. Okay, here's Zach. See Zach. He's gotten big, hasn't he? Okay. And here's um, the creek bed. This is um, sometimes filled with water during the winter and spring, but it's dry during the summer and fall. And it's still fall, so we might have some more rains later. This is my nature preserve. Uh, well, it's not mine. It's actually owned by owned by the landlord. But now there's some junk piles here, but um, I think some of this junk can actually provide shelter for wildlife species such as cotton rats and field mice and eastern shrews. Oh yeah, and and all assortment of critters that are not mammals. Oh, sometimes I forget the critters that are not mammals. It's like, you know, I'm, I'm kind of mammal-centric. Because when I think wildlife, I think only mammals. Especially small ones. Well, 
Yeah. But, uh, we do have a very wide assortment of spider species here. Noticed a lot of different kinds of spiders, at least 10 species. Well, there's also a couple snake species too. There was a green one and there was a striped one. They were small. Also a wide assortment of birds, but yeah. Three species here are mostly juniper and saw a small bird just fly on that juniper. Not sure what kind, but and junipers are very common trees here. So our mesquite and hackberry and cedar elm. Um, this pond is always dried up, just like the stream. The stream um, and this pond are usually pretty dry in the summer and the fall. Yeah, it's not really a pond. It's a it's a a crater. Yeah, more like a crater. <laughs> but it gets filled up with water during the, the winter and part of the fall. There hasn't been a whole lot of rain lately. Just splatterings here and there. So it's still pretty dry. <laughs> well, now that the weather uh, is nicer, it's more calm down in temperature, uh, I'll be walking here more often. In the summer, I don't really go, didn't really go back here that much because just simply too hot. <laughs> anyway, um, but it might actually be up in the upper 70s or lower 80s right now. I'm not sure. This was an exercise thing that the neighbor made. It's broken. Uh, I don't know, he might fix it, I don't, probably. Let's see. Besides mammals, what species live here? Oh, let's see, raccoons, skunks, squirrels, oh, whoops, I mean besides mammals. Hmm, oh. oh, I think there's some fall colors up here. That looks red. It might be poison ivy. And there's a scary looking wasp here. Oh wait, there was a wasp, hold on. I'm bad at aiming the camera. So I'm yeah, there it is. Yeah, I'll be looking at something, but it's not on the camera view screen because I don't know how to aim right. All right. Oh, I think I saw something go in there. In that crack. For some reason, it's not letting me zoom. Now, oh, now it is. It was probably just a big fat spider. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, I'm doing a circle eight around the paths 
So I'm going to be passing that dried crater pond again. Let's see. I thought I heard something. You know, I could probably go down this path too. It's a path that was carved. Right behind the house again. And there's tire swing. I think some pets are buried there. Oh, I forgot to show the neighbor's pet cemetery. Oh, oh well. Maybe another day. Okay, and here's my two goats and dog. Zach, Darch, and Periwinkle. Oh yeah. I planted this um, pecan tree, which is hard to see because it's just a stick right now. Yeah. Alright, and that'll be it. That was my wildlife habitat. <laughs>